Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be opening up my BoxyCharm base box for the month of March. Now I do know a few spoilers, but I couldn't tell you much. I don't really remember a whole lot about this month. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it and here's a little sneak peek of what we got going on here. All right, so I'm just gonna grab the card. Okay, I actually, I don't have a card for this month. Um, that's, okay, so the bad thing about that is that I can't tell you like retail value or prices or anything like that, but we're just gonna roll with it. The first thing I'm pulling out is, actually I do remember this was my choice item. This is the Murad Hydration Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. I love eye cream. And I wanna say this was 50 to 60, maybe even $70. Um, so it's just a nice, thick, richly hydrating eye cream. I am still going through my Belief eye cream that I got from my Allure Beauty Box for last month. So once I'm done with that, I will get into that. The next thing is this. So this is something else that was kind of making me think of my Allure Beauty Box. This is the Appeal Ultra Cream Lipstick. I don't believe this is the same color or even, yeah, this is like a red. I'm not going to open this because I know that I will not wear this shade. I do like the packaging and I remember I do enjoy the formula of Appeal lipsticks. I just know that I personally won't get use out of this and I don't want to waste a lipstick. So this will be passed along to someone else. The next thing I'm pulling out is this. This is a Becca Ultimate Lip Liner in the shade Spiced. Ooh, I'm actually super excited for this. I have been eyeing this color. This is so awesome. The only thing is that this particular lip pencil doesn't really go with this lipstick. I mean, I guess you could kind of ombre it, but I'll, I don't know. All right, so here is the shade, and it's one of the twist up like mechanical ones. And there it is right there. That is really, really pretty, and it's very, very creamy. And these have this really interesting kind of like spatula tool on the other side. You do have the little sharpener and then it has this. It's like a little rubber paddle. So I don't know if that's meant to kind of like blend the liner out. Yeah, it looks like that's blending out really pretty. But I'm super excited for this. I, genu I generally love all Becca products. So cool. I just wish I knew the retail value so I could tell you guys. I think these are usually around, I think they're around $24. The next thing I'm seeing is a Metal Crush Liquid Highlighter from Kat Von D. And this is in the color Gold School. I don't know how to feel about this. You guys let me know how you feel about getting Kat Von D products in your boxes and bags. I know that she's no longer with the company. She stepped down. There's a lot of drama surrounding her, so she doesn't even have anything to do with the company anymore. So I know that they are changing the name of the brand. They're kind of rebranding, but I don't know. Y'all just let me know how you feel about that. So this is the color right here. It's kind of like a pearly white color and it's like one of these felt tip pins that you just do the click for it. So let's see. This could take a while. There we go, okay. So there's a little bit coming out right there. And honestly, it's just a big old glitter fest. This is super glittery. I like more of a wet look for my highlights. Um, this to me is just, it looks like as it would dry throughout the day, just big chunks of glitter. Yeah, you can kind of see there. Just big chunks of glitter would just literally fly everywhere. I mean, it's pretty, don't get me wrong. And I'll probably find a use for it, but I'm torn. I don't know. They keep putting cap on D in our boxes and I'm just kind of like, no one wants that. And the very last thing I'm actually really excited for is the BoxyCharm palette. I'm so excited that I got this instead of, I think you could have gotten this or the Hank and Henry um, Living Color palette, which I do enjoy Hank and Henry's products, but this is the one I want. So it says, hello, Charmer. And here are the colors and you get a really nice big mirror there. Here are the shades. Oh, these are so pretty. These are even prettier in person. Oh my gosh. This swipe up color, it just doesn't, the camera just doesn't do it justice. It's like a pink with green and yellow. And this is kind of more of like a grittier 
glitter consistency. Look at that. Oh, that is so pretty. Let me do a swatch. That is stunning. Okay, let's do, let's do full size. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful too. Look at that, wow. Okay, um, let's do some mattes. I'm gonna do spoiler, which is that one right there. It's kind of like a yellowy color. And then I'll do Cup of Joe, which is the shade down here. Let's do this up here. And that was not a very good swatch, but yeah, this is like really, really nice. I'm gonna do unboxing too. Why not? Then let's swatch that. Let's do it right here. This is really, really pretty. I'm super impressed. Um, I know some people aren't like the biggest fans about BoxyCharm having, you know, putting their own products in the box because they can kind of, you know, put whatever price on it or whatever. But if the quality is good, I don't mind because I actually enjoy the makeup brushes that they came out with. So I don't know, as long as it's good quality, I don't mind it being in the box just as long as it's not too much of this you know what i mean i don't know y'all let me know how you feel about boxycharm putting their own branded items in the box um as long as it's pretty it works well then i don't really have any issues with it so that was all of march um i don't know how to feel i'm kind of i don't know it wasn't the worst month but it definitely wasn't the best um let's go over what we got so i got the murad eye cream that was my choice item. We got the Becca Lip Pencil in Spice. That is gorgeous. We have the Metal Crush Liquid Highlighter from Gold School from Kat Von D. Then we have the Appeal Cosmetics Lipstick, and I wish I could see a color on here, um, but it's in like a red color. And then we have the Boxy Charm. I guess it's just the Hello Charmer palette that has some beautiful swatches. I can't wait, especially these shades right here. That is super, super pretty. All right, so that is it. Let me know down below if we are box twins. I don't know what variation I am, so I couldn't really tell you. Um, I think, let's see if I can tell you the weight. Um, I don't think the weight is on the package itself. I can always look it up on my shipping information. So if you guys want to know the weight, just comment down below and I can let you know what the weight of my box is. I know sometimes people want to know that. But until next time, I will see you guys later.